Sure enough, there's two dogs in there causing shit. Canteens are now live. I just picked up her mugs. Spoiler alert, terrible. Good morning and happy Vlogtober day 19. I guess it's technically the afternoon. It is about 12.30 now that I'm starting this. I had to edit a video this morning, getting some of my like work work done and planning some really, really, really fun plans this weekend with, you know, the sorority fam, people that you guys haven't seen in forever. We've been trying to coordinate stuff to go to like Halloween weekends and haunted houses and stuff like that these last two weeks because we all want to see each other and I miss them dearly, but we also want to do like spooky shit. So we were trying to make plans, which is a lot of moving parts with like five or six people to do. So we've been doing that. I've been editing, but it's finally time to start the day. And the first thing that I need to do is something that I should have done like a week ago, and that's to go pick up the pottery that we painted. They were on like a four day turnaround, but that four day turnaround has turned into a nine day turnaround for us because I completely forgot to pick them up. So I wanna go pick them up because I've been dying to see what they look like because the last time I saw them, I hated my mug. So I wanna go see what they look like and I finally have time to do it. So we're gonna go pick up the pottery and then I wanna take Little Miss to the dog park because she's not going to doggy daycare today. Today's actually Sunday that I'm filming this and our doggy daycare place is closed but we're also going to dinner at Griffin's parents house tonight after he gets off work so I want her to be kind of tired out for them because she's always like peak crackhead energy with them so that's the only side of her that they see and Griffin and I were laying on the couch with her yesterday and she was just like sleeping on me how she normally does she's just so calm in the house and a completely different dog than when we take her to events or to like anything in Griffin's parents house she gets so excited over there they only see her at like her worst and it's not even her worst it's like her medium and we would love for them to see like her but it's hard to really show anybody her unless you're us because she just acts different with us and at home than she does anywhere else in the world or with anybody else so are your dogs like that or are they like normal with everybody i'm curious if she's just weird or if that's normal so let me know <laughs> but i also have other things that i want to get done so not really like a busy day but just a lot of things to do none of them really important but i'm excited for all of them so let's head to the pottery place and hope that they even still have them i don't even know how long they keep this stuff for but i want to go get my mugs and see if they turned out okay i just picked up our mugs and i got to see them but they wrapped them up definitely look better than when we dropped them off here's the video of us when we left them of course they go through like a glaze and go into the kiln and everything so so this one was griffin's this is how his turned out he did like mountains and everything which i think turned out good even like the inside is like this blue color you want some coffee? <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, he painted his bottom. I don't think I painted my bottom, now that I'm thinking about it. It turned out good. It feels really nice. Like, gloss feels hefty and it feels good. This is how mine turned out. Sorry, the lighting is changing, but I used orange paint and I painted my leaves on with like different fall colors. I did not paint my bottom, so I completely forgot about that. But the inside is what I'm excited about. The inside has a little pumpkin in there. Can you see that? I painted a separate pumpkin and then they like glued it or I don't know how they did it, but they put it at the bottom for me. So it's one of those like surprise drinky ones where, you know, you can fill it up and then as you drink it, you get to see the pumpkin at the bottom. I thought it was a cute idea. And honestly, this looks a lot better than I thought it would. Not perfect and not necessarily what I wanted it to look like. Like my vision was much more folly. Like this isn't not fall, but it's not what I was picturing. But for what I did, it ended up coming out a lot better than I thought. So I count that as a win. So yeah, this is my mug with a little pumpkin on the inside. I think that's so freaking cute. Brick. Oh my god. We were literally only there for like five minutes, if that, because there was one person on their way out kind of warned us. They asked if we were going to the big dog or the little dog side, and I said the big dog, and they were like, there's two dogs in there that are just like starting shit. And I was like, oh goodness, but like we haven't had a bad experience at the dog park yet. <sighs> sure enough, there's two dogs in there causing shit. Apparently there had been multiple people that had left because these dogs are causing shit when those are the dogs that need to fucking leave. <sighs> I'm heated. She's fine. And like nothing actually happened, but I was just like, nah, we're not, mm, nope. We've had no bad experiences yet and today will not be the day. Kind of sucks. Like, I hate that. Like, one or two dogs have to ruin it for everybody else when, like, that one or two dogs should have just left. <sighs> I feel bad that Freya didn't get to play. I feel like my child is sad. She just wanted to play with her other friends. He didn't get to go. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, though. We go back. <laughs> She's so big now. You guys always ask how much she weighs. I would say at least 45. So I think a month ago it was like 42. She's big, but I need to get to the main thing that I want to do today. However, this counter is a mess and the kitchen is kind of messy because I had an event this weekend. So I have all of my bags here of like 
the stuff that I bring with me. Kind of needs to be unpacked and everything. And I did want to give you, oh, prayer came running, a rundown on how the event went. If you guys have been following along and you saw my nine month pup date video, which is basically like puppy blues on a hundred kind of thing. I gave you a rundown of how the last event that I took her to went and it was spoiler alert, terrible. You can go watch the video if you're curious, but I wasn't planning on taking her to this next one just because it was so bad last time. I just was like, I don't want to do that again. However, I, it just couldn't work and I had to bring her. However, the event went so good. I would say last time she was 90% bad and this time she was 90% good, but I was able to kind of identify some of her triggers or at least what I think were her triggers. Cause last time I will admit it was like pure emotion for me where I was just so worked up that I, I couldn't even focus on like what was making her anxious. I was just like, why are you crazy? <laughs> basically. And after the event, I ordered these and I showed them in a recent haul and they're basically like the refillable like applesauce containers that you use for babies. Right. But I got them for Freya and I took this with me to the event. There's still some in here. I basically just filled it with peanut butter and water and like mix it up in a bowl and then filled it. So it was a little bit more soft to like come through the top nozzle for her. But basically I wanted to get these because my thought was when I saw a TikTok of someone else using this, I think it was some dog trainer. They were saying that you can use this for like high value rewards and stuff like that. And Freya will do anything for some peanut butter. So I'm like, if I could use peanut butter for trainings, we're out in the world whenever she's acting a fool instead of like dog treats or kibble and stuff, like I, she would listen more to this. So I ordered some and I brought it with me to the event and actually it did, it worked a lot. She, as soon as like I gave her some to make her realize what was in this, now she knows what's in this. Kind of like with the treat pouch, if I get that out, she knows there's gonna be like food in there. She knows what this is after one day, but it did work. So if you guys ever wanna like do that, I'll link these down below. They do come in a pack of 10, but I couldn't find packs of any less and I don't need 10, but they're for babies and children and stuff. So I got to work with what I can get. And you can fill this with like peanut butter and water like I did or like wet dog food, some cream cheese, Greek yogurt, like literally anything that is mashable and liquid kind of thing, paste to use for training. Freya loved it. But I do want to clean up the event stuff because there's just so much on this counter and it's kind of annoying me and I want to clean house and I didn't do it this morning like I normally do. So we're going to tidy all this up and put everything away. And then we'll get to the main thing that I want to accomplish today. for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it because i'll slip into your dreams tonight also, I have kind of an exciting update for those of you that have been waiting. I showed this canteen, which this is the bottom and it screws on, and then this is the lid and it screws on. I'm emptying it out because I brought it with me to the event. I showed this in a dog haul before because Griffin's mom made it for us, and she put like Dublin dog dairy on there because that's where we used to live and all that fun stuff. This is an amazing dog canteen thing because you can pour it into this little bowl, and that's what she drinks out of, and then you can dump it and you can drink out of it. So there's no like backwashing from the dog to you, blah blah. blah. Since I showed it in that dog haul, y'all have been begging for it or seeing like how can you get one because. Griffin Griffin's mom made it for us. I talked her into making an Etsy account and putting it on there. So I will link it down below. There's officially a link for these. I think right now there's only two colors. I think it's like the black and white. The purples will be coming. So if you're looking for one, just like this one, give her a little bit and those will be up. But if you just want like a black or white one, those are already up. They will not say Dublin Dog Dairy on them. They're just, you know, plain and all that, but they are amazing. Absolutely love them. And I know that y'all have been waiting on it. I posted about it I think last week on my Instagram and I've just been forgetting to tell you guys that it's live. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me there because I definitely give you guys a heads up over there way faster than on here sometimes and I apologize but canteens are now live and they're amazing so go check them out. We are clean, the dishes have been put away. New dishes are in the dishwasher. I feel like dishes and laundry never end. It's kind of upsetting. But what's not upsetting is what I'm about to do because I already have so many comments and DMs from two days ago's vlog where we built this. 
I know that in that vlog, we didn't do anything with it, even though I kind of said I would, but I ended up working like six or seven hours that day and we just didn't have time. And by the time that like we cooked dinner and finished building it, it was just so late. I didn't have time to actually like decorate it and put things on it and get it all ready because the next day I had race day. Y'all were like, what is it for? What are you doing? What do you still need to unpack? And I know I left you guys on a lot of cliffhangers because I started the vlog thinking I was gonna be able to finish it for you guys. So I'm sorry, but that's what we're here to do today. And we're gonna finish it. We're gonna get it all decorated and get it all set up and looking beautiful. So let me tell you what is not yet unpacked. That is this suitcase. It has been sitting here in our living room and in our kitchen since we moved in. And this is the last thing that we have yet to unpack. Mainly because we didn't have anywhere to put what is in this suitcase, which is all of our alcohol. Bet you didn't see that one coming, but we've been kind of looking or just wanting some sort of like bar cart to put all of our alcohol in because it's sad, but we have a lot. And we also have a lot of like alcoholic cups and glasses and stuff. It's like half of our cup cabinet up there. And so we've been wanting something big enough to put a lot of our pretty cups and like the alcoholic cups and beverage container things. And then all of our like actual bottles of alcohol. So we have a whole bunch on this side of the suitcase and on the other side, stuff like my tattoo tequila that used to be out on the countertops. But if you guys remember our old apartment actually had like the wine rack built into the cabinet. So that's where we stored a lot of our alcohol, but we also had a cabinet down below that stored a lot of our alcohol and we don't have any space in the kitchen. There's no more like storage space. So we've been on the hunt for things and we saw this unit at Ikea called the Hauga and that's what we built in the last vlog that we thought would be perfect to store all of this stuff in because it's cute it's pretty it has a good shape to it it has the cabinets underneath to put a lot of the alcohol and then the shelves to like display some of the cute glasses and stuff or even some of the cute alcoholic bottles and stuff so that's the plan that's the hope that's why we bought it and that's what I want to do today so I'm of course going to empty this out and this actually like <laughs> unzips and like I said there's more alcohol on this side so we need to unpack all of this but i also want to go ahead and get down all of our glasses and stuff that we would want to put over there just so i can visually see how much we have alcohol bottle wise and glasses wise so that way i can make that look as good as possible so like fun glasses like these like these are tiki glasses we don't use these other than for alcohol stuff and that's like a cute display we have like our margarita glasses griffin has like mule mugs and stuff so we just have things that would be better suited not in here so we, we would have more space to like spread out the mugs and the actual cups and water bottles and stuff that we use i got you wrapped around my finger but don't you try to call me Watch me pray. I'm not 100% in love with it right now because I feel like it's a lot of clear and white and nothing really catches your eye. But like, especially this top half, my eye is drawn to this corner, this and that. Everything else just like blends in. So I wanna figure out a better way or like how can I add color? If any of you have recommendations. I'm thinking even like right now, Give me a hot sec. <laughs> I'm thinking like mini picture frames or something and we can have like paintings of drinks or even like a menu or like, I don't know. I need to look up some bar cart inspo on Pinterest and stuff or something and try to make this look better. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. <laughs> Cause right now I'm not in love with it. And then all the liquors down here, except all of our bottles are like tall and they can't fit on this shelf other than this one. So it's a start. At least it unpacked the suitcase that's no longer in the corner, but I want this to be better and I think it can be better. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Okay, let's go potty. Come in. Good morning guys, it is the next day. We ended up going to Griffin's parents' house like a half hour after I let Little Miss out yesterday. And we were there until like 10. So when we got home, I was knocked. <laughs> and I didn't get to finish this vlog, let alone start editing it, which is a problem. 
<gasps> so we're gonna get there but i showed you guys what the like i don't know what to call it because it's not a bar cart but like the bar cart area looks like and how that turned out but i wanted to show you guys what the cabinets turned out because i do need to kind of fix some stuff in there because we moved so much so there's like so much more room so on this side this is normal this is what this normally looks like but on this side is where we kept a lot of our like drinking glasses so now that's empty and i feel like i just want to like disperse that and also put in some like water bottles that i've been keeping randomly in here because there's no other room for them so let's see what I can do with this space. I'm thinking I want to like just spread out the top too. Again, keeping all the main stuff on this side because we can barely reach this side to be honest because of like the counter being here. Like when my hip is here, I can't really reach anything up there. So keeping the main use stuff here, but then being able to just spread stuff out and we'll see how that looks. I also forgot we have some of this stuff like shot glasses or things to make drinks with stuff for Griffin's like old fashions and stuff that was all up here so I think I'm gonna try to fit that on there too just add more color and then up here there was all of these glasses which are also like alcoholic looky kind of glasses especially like these funs ones those can go in like the counter down below so I'm gonna put all of this in there and all of this in there and see what that looks like Organizing break because my little dude just went off and it's amazing, but I wanted to show you guys We have some fluff here on the ground and yesterday Freya brought in a leaf She tore it to shreds and I left it there on purpose because I wanted to see if he'd be able to pick this up So we will find out this is by like our front door area So I'm gonna keep an eye on him. He's currently in this corner and see if he can clean up some of the big stuff I'm literally sitting here editing this video and I forgot to show you guys if our robot dude picked up the stuff on the floor. So let me show you. The leaf is gone. It picked it up, the whole thing. At first it like shoved it around a little bit and I thought it wasn't gonna get it, but it ended up getting it at the end. Same with the fluff over here. This man is a lifesaver to me. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Why would you go lay over there? But now we will resume. I think I'm, I'm getting somewhere because I like the more color going on. I put more of the glasses under, like wine glasses, like they're pretty, but you know, they're not like our fancy cups. And these are fancy, but we've never used them and we've had them for two years. So they're going under there. We use these all the time whenever he makes old fashions. So kind of have the old fashioned stuff with it. This is gonna move somewhere else. Then we have this section, which I don't really know what to put with that. We have the margarita section, which I'm contemplating if I want to switch like this stuff with this stuff. I don't know, because that's like my tequilas and stuff. But also I drink margaritas out of that. So I don't know, we're getting somewhere though. And I kind of like where it's going. I think we have it folks. This is at least the finished product for today. And I definitely like it better than yesterday's finished product. There's definitely more color on here, more things to look at. I think it looks really good. So we have our glasses that we use for old fashions and stuff, all the old fashioned stuff, mule mugs, random things, margarita, simple syrups, more margarita, tequila. Definitely still send me your inspo if you have any, or if you guys have bar carts, send me your pictures. I'm gonna be looking on Pinterest, but let me show you the bottom too. So on the top of the bottom, we have more glasses and stuff for like margarita salt, shot glasses, random things like one-offs or just we don't have room for those sets. And then on the bottom bottom, the alcohol. We can definitely fit way more down here. I just pulled it all up so it looks more full, but yeah, we can push back, fit more, definitely more glasses or just like random things. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I said this yesterday, but we finally got rid of the suitcase that's been sitting here. I guess I don't know if you guys ever noticed it, but yeah, it's been sitting here. That was the last thing we needed to unpack and we just didn't have anywhere to put all the alcohol and stuff. So we've been on the hunt for so many different like bar 
part options. A lot of them are really expensive. I mean, this I think was 140 for this whole unit, but this fits way more than a tiny cart would have. Like I would love to do a coffee cart because I don't have that much coffee stuff, but we definitely needed something bigger than like a cart. So I'm happy with what we found, but I am still sorry that I left you guys on the cliffhanger in the last vlog of like building it. I'm glad we were able to get it together. And now you guys know what it was for, what our last box we needed to unpack was, and we got it all set up. Griffin really likes it. He's the one that picked out the Hauga. I had different options in mind, but he liked the Hauga. So we went with that and he likes how it's decorated and how everything's up there. So I'm pleased. But since it is the next day and it's the next morning, I need to close this vlog so I can edit it and start the next one. We're a little over halfway through with Vlogtober. Isn't that crazy? Goodness gracious. It is like flying by, but I'm having the time of my life and I'm loving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.